three years ago, it was quite a difficult time. Um, like me and my brothers, we went into care. Two of my brothers went to one care home and uh, me and my oldest brother, we went to another. Even though you're going through a hard time, there are things that can make it better. It'll, it'll not make it perfect, but it can help it. The only time the children as a family were all together was at school, and we'd work hard to uh, provide opportunities for them to do that. So Shiza started her journey at school with extracurricular activities by joining the Sea Cadets. It was always like an opportunity to be with my brothers as well as having t fun time and doing things that we like never think we'd get a chance. So like, doing Sea Cadets, I was already doing so many um, fun things, and then another opportunity came, came up to do skiing. So going on an expedition funded by the Ulysses Trust is really the first stepping stone maybe to a child or a young person realising uh, their true potential and maximising their opportunities in life. We were asked by my teacher to like, do you guys want to do this? You just have to turn up, we just get a taste of what skiing is. No idea what it was, <laughs> we just went skiing isn't it? Snow Camp, it's a social mobility charity using snow sport as a vehicle. It's not like you're paying anything. Ulysses Trust, like, they did all the funding. I have seen a real difference over time in the young people that have benefited from the funding from the Ulysses Trust and other sources. Um, it's not a eureka moment just on one trip, but generally you see them becoming more self-confident and more open to other challenges in the future. At the start, you just get a taste of what skiing is. By the end of it, you're going to the Alps and going to teach a person how to ski. As I was doing skiing, I was like getting out of my comfort zone. My confidence was growing. It's like a domino effect. If you go for one thing, you keep learning, go out more and more. And if you go for those, you get like a lot more opportunities where you can achieve great things. Reflecting on the journeys that some of our cadets and, and young people have made having been on these trips, it is really rewarding to see that they actually have concrete examples of really seizing their opportunities. So. We've got a number of young people who have gone to some of the most prestigious boarding schools in the country on fully funded places. Applying for the scholarship to a boarding school was like a last minute thing. I wouldn't have been able to go through the um, admissions processes and doing the interviews and everything if it wasn't for Sea Cadets and skiing where I got all my confidence and learned how to talk to people in a way. So she was interviewed and accepted for a place at Wellington College um, and seems to be loving it. I'm doing chemistry, biology and maths and I want to become a doctor in the future. Doing all these subjects and being in a like, place like Wellington, I'm getting all the like support that I need to like, improve in my subjects. How are you getting on with your extended projects? I can see the future of me becoming a doctor, hopefully. <laughs> I think it's really important to let other people know that opportunities like doing skiing, which like I would never have been able to do if it wasn't for um, the fundings of Ulysses Trust. These fundings help change people's lives.